Hello beautiful souls, I am Awakened Soul and today we're going to be reviewing Bitcoin. We're going to be setting it up for our next trade and more than that we're going to be learning, you're going to be learning with me how I set my charts, how I view my charts and hopefully you take away at least one thing to for you to embrace it and place it within your char, uh, your trading strategy, right? We all trade differently and understanding how other people view the charts sometimes gives you that clarity of oh okay this is why this is happening or whatnot but anyhow this is the monthly i like to set a one touch two touch support trend line i like to turn on my 12 26 emas and really important to when you come into the charts trying to set up for your next trade it's important to start off with the fresh chart no emotions no expectations um just a nice fresh start okay so we have our monthly uh, support there we could just visualize that it cross price actually cross under 1226 emas under our support trend line right and it's just a great observation to to see what's going on let's make a re resistance trend line up here okay we cross to the upside let's get some monthly targets how would i get that just using my pivot highs and lows indicator it's gonna guide me and tell me where the exact price action the highest price action is and the lowest price action is down here so i marked this level right it's one touch two touch as support this is the highest peak so this would be my monthly target Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. So we got to our monthly target of 17, right? Every time I start a video, I'm telling you, the neighbor's dog <laughs> starts barking. <sighs> so now we have one touch, two touches, and this was our bearish target, but of course we we have a uh, touch both so let's move into our weekly and you know keep making those observations as you're charting um look at price action for me price action is everything you know look at the i i chart my chart and i trade with the flow so for me understanding that okay weekly it looks like we broke up retested and now we're in an uptrend especially because 12 and 26 emas are flipped bullish you know that's just gives me um a comprehension of like okay we might be headed up yeah we might have a retrace maybe back bouncing on that 12 ema right it only makes sense if this is an uptrend continue the bounce and then we continue to move up because nothing goes straight up and it's important to understand that so using my uh, higher high lower low indicator I want you to just see the way the charts move you know you're always going to get up and downs up and down so right now we've created a new higher high so most likely we're going to get a higher low and then if this is the uptrend then continue to the upside or we could continue just coming down to the downside so within my daily time frame again i'm just going to be visualizing price action with my 1226 ema seeing okay what's happening this is still a bullish trend right we're above the 1226 ema within this section based on um, market structure right we understand that this is a contraction phase and within this contraction phase i want to set a trend lines i want to see uh, my highs my lows what's happening just within this uh, contraction phase right this is going to be my lows this is going to be my high so this is our range here and within this range what's happening right so it's just going sideways that's for sure and um so daily let's go six hours six hours we're flipping the emas are flipping 12 hours okay six hours 
and that's what i'm seeing it's like a weight system if that makes sense so it's buyers and sellers right so sometimes there's more buyers there's more sellers so what i'm trying to visualize is okay the trend the mark the flow of it so right now just crossing the 12 26 ema our tr trend is down on the six hour going on the four hour is down too um and my four hour i will be adding my major trend lines so that's one touch two touch so we broke to the downside another way i could do this is one touch two touches but just based on this first trend line this will be my target right and based on this trend line break this would be my target okay and then we're gonna go and look at our order blocks look at our supply and demand see what's going on um i use a little bit of everything i usually take one good trade a day that makes my day and um compound is everything when you're doing trading so i do take the, my time and analyze the charts as best as i can to give me the best trade possible and if i'm wrong i'm wrong but i make sure i checked all my boxes so just okay view, um visualizing it here right understanding we're in a contraction phase i want to take you back to my weekly because i did notice something um that i didn't bring it up here other than this this rising wedge this possible rising wedge here that would be it right this two orange and this resistance going to be taken from this support here so check this out this one and here right support support that's how i got my rising wedge from so this rising wedge could definitely break to the downside um this is like i said major contraction phase major four hour trend lines to start um rotating to the downside what I want to see is for me to enter a long swing. What I want to see is this four hour trend line being broken. We have broken some supports already in the one hour. Right. In, if you're having a hard time, again, using pivot highs and low will help you out a lot. So we had a high, a low, a lower high, a higher low lower high so just visualizing it you see it's coiling up right so right here on the one hour you can set your range this is your high this is your low and it's just coiling in keep coming down to your 30 minutes right this is your hour range now in your 30 minutes you have um this range to play off right and so how would i be playing this um based on my range and my higher high lower lows um sorry where's my supply and demand here also let's my sonar labs my four hour okay so there's some order blocks up here and down here daily not so much on the daily in the four hour there still are one hour right i just like i said i want to visualize what are the mo the most possibilities well, there's definitely a lot going on here but which one's heavier off the bat is our supply or demand heavier you can see there's there's more demand than supply right now okay so um, this is not ready for a trade and I want you to understand that like if you're staring at the charts and it's good to actually understand price action because for me everything's within the weeks you could tell what's going on but um, set your alarms please start getting used to it like right here it's not 100% ready I'm looking at this four hour trend line more than anything to 
across again. We already crossed once, but we break this. That would be a confluence of, you know, this major four-hour trend line and coming to the downside. But I would be placing my alarms on the range, on the one-hour range right here, and just click on the on your tools and set an alarm crossing down. All right, and this would be crossing up. And when they do alarm you, don't rush and take the trade right away. Uh, wait for it. Um, another visual thing that I want you to notice is as the market makers like to work in threes. Um, and if you're not following me at Twitter, uh, go ahead and follow me. I am awakened so underscore three six nine, and I do share a lot of my charts here, a lot of my setup, my expectations, what's going on, um, a lot of music, personal stuff. But it's okay. Get to know me. But just visualizing this, imagine. Okay, this is a rising wedge, right? Let's just imagine that this is a rising wedge. This zone, this four hour zone right here, this could consolidate till. I mean, the end of April. We could be here till the end of April. So as you're waiting, you should <laughs> really learn the skill. Uh, but this is one hump, then two humps. And I was thinking of like a third hump and then coming down. What do you guys think about that? I think that would be cool. Or, um, you know, just visualize what are the possibilities. So with that being said, understand that we could stay in this contraction phase till end of April, April 29th and doing absolutely nothing so look at your smaller time frames you could do a quick scalp if this four hour this support breaks it's gonna come here um and again probably consolidate and go back up play with us right right here and if it doesn't hold it could drop down or continue back up and then fall that's what i'm seeing that's what i'm expecting and I hope you learned something more than anything. And I will be coming out with my own course soon. And like again, my goal here is just to teach you at least one thing. And for you to embrace it and take it to your trading style. All right, guys. Much love and remember to do everything with love.